Hello, everyone, and welcome to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. Today, we have Jack Campbell. How's it going, Jack? Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here today. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I got a question for you. What is it? Is the housing boom over? Why or why not? Is the housing boom over? Uh, that's somewhat of a silly question, right? Uh -huh. You know, inevitably, as long as I've been doing this for 30 years, I've got licensed back in 1992, been in Southern California the entire time, and I can't tell you there's only been... There's not been a period of time where what people talk about there being a buyer's market, there's not really been a real buyer's market. You know, if, we, if you go to, you talk about coast to coast, east coast to west coast, you know, market times where somebody has to market a home for six months or nine months to get it sold in other markets is considered a buyer's market, right? Whereas in San Diego County or Southern California in general, the demand over the entire time I've been in the business really has never stretched to a seller's market that people are accustomed to in other places. Right. So first to address that, I mean, th there'll always dem be demand in Southern California and it's because there's a limit on the amount of homes available for sale here. Right. And it, it just, especially San Diego, if you think about the confinement that we have here geographically, we're, we're confined by the Southern border at the end in Mexico. We've got the mountain range to the east that prevents us from easy development to the east. We've got Pendleton to the north right, that confines our ability to, to continue to grow to the north. So there really is a finite amount of property and we're at the point now with San Diego County where they're doing what we call infill. And what that means is that people are now starting to build in all the little open empty spaces because they've really, all the logical land developments already really taken place. So when we talk about, you know, supply and demand, which is really what drives a housing market either into a boom or a bust, uh, the, the demand for housing and the economic structure of San Diego are the two things that are going to prevent it from going to a bust, mm -hmm. right? Um, we've seen some pretty extraordinary growth in the, this, you know, I'm going to use that word that we've heard more of in the last two years than we've heard in previous years, all the years in our lives, unprecedented, right? But it's been extraordinary two years for the real estate industry and homes, despite that change are still, believe it or not, the affordability rating, because the drop in the interest rates has allowed affordability to stay really r pretty unchanged. Mm -hmm. So right now the demand still is good. Uh, it, it has continued to be good. We still are doing record number of transactions. Um, at some point, everybody understands this has to change. And there's a big fear among everybody that when it does change, it's gonna flop and there's, of course, you're always going to have people that are going to be, uh, you know, clamoring for headlines and screaming about the bust and how the world is going to fall apart and come to an end. And, yeah. and they're going to be sitting waiting for that to happen, right? But the reality is when you buy real estate, if you're buying it on a speculation, you're taking risk. But if you're buying it for your family to live in because you have a personal life event that's causing that need, Buying in real estate is never a bad idea, especially in Southern California. Between inflation and continued growth in demand and population growth, which the United States population growth is just going to continue, it just means that we're going to have continued growth in property value itself. So real estate's never a bad place to be in. If you're going to write a check each month, you're better off writing it to yourself than writing it to a landlord. Right. Um, yeah, so to answer your question, boom or bust? Um, we are not on the edge of a bust, in my opinion. I don't think that the economics would have to change too dramatically. And there's so much equity in the market today, if we compare this even back to the Great Recession, which was, you know, as we know, 10, 10 years back or so. That was predicated by a lot of really risky lending and a lot of homes that didn't have much equity in them, right? right. Anybody who's had their home in the last, who's owned a home for the last two years, has more than 20% equity in it, just in the last two years. Right. So even if the market had a pull back of 10%, 15%, 20%, which I don't believe it's gonna do, for the record, but even if it did, the vast majority of homeowners, this is not gonna put them into turmoil. This is not gonna force a sale. We're not gonna see short sales or foreclosures happen the way that you know, they talked about you know, with the Great Recession where we saw a lot of these artificial lending products push people into bad financial situations, that's gone. That didn't happen this time. Mm -hmm. So the people who are per have purchased homes in the last two years, two, three, or four years, 
are doing it based on sound fundamentals, uh, buying into a strong upward trending housing market, and I don't see the fundamentals of all that changing. Right. Um, I do anticipate we'll have a slowdown in the price appreciation mm -hmm. because what has been happening in the last two years just can't continue. It, it can't continue. But does that mean it's going to go backwards or fall apart? I don't believe so. I don't believe so either. No. Yeah. Right. That's my take on it. Well, thanks, Jack. That's a lot of valuable information. And thank you for answering the question today. Sure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Of course. That was Jack Campbell with San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. Mm -hmm.